everybody. I'm Todd McKim along with coach uh, Lindsey Gottlieb. Congratulations. Milestone win for you this past weekend. Got your 100th career victory. Kind of an interesting weekend for Cal. Mike Montgomery got his 100th as a Cal coach. You got yours 100th uh, total coaching uh, career. Is it something that somebody had to remind you of or did you keep track of those kinds of things? Well, I definitely don't um, keep track. Um, but a, a couple days before someone had mentioned it, that was the first time I was aware. And it's just a nice kind of time to look back on all the, the, the moments and memories up to this point. It certainly makes me think about all the terrific young people I've been fortunate to coach and all the, the great people I work with. I think it's crazy that the head coach has wins attached to their name because it speaks to a team effort. Um, but it's nice, you know, in those moments to, to appreciate all that we have. You know, one uh, good sign of a good basketball team is the fact that uh, even though you've been through a stretch that's been very difficult against the teams that are at the top of the, the, the league, uh, you go on the road and you didn't have any kind of letdown, no setback. Your team from the beginning of both those games against the Oregon schools really got after them and made uh, the game's a little easier to play. Yeah, I, I'm really proud of our of our team for that. Um, not only that, we're a little banged up, you know, without Rashonda, Jen coming off an injury, and they were so locked in to to not having any type of letdown. Defense defensively was the key. Uh, we came out and really made it difficult on both teams. And I just think our team is really mature and bought in to wanting to play for one another and win a championship. And so they're the ones who are really guarding against any type of letdown. That doesn't mean we play perfect all the time. We certainly don't. But I think the intensity level is there, and that's what I was really looking for. So it was a good weekend for us. So you begin the second half of conference play, tied for first place with Stanford. The teams have split. But just to maybe look a little bit at the conference right now because there's separation now we've seen. There's four teams that have separated from everybody else. And maybe the surprise team in there might be Washington because they've kind of snuck up with the teams that they've played. And they're right there in that battle for third place. Yeah, no question. I mean, I've only seen Washington on film preparing for other teams because yeah. we don't play them until the end. But what I do know is that they shoot the ball really well. Um, they've done a great job playing almost, you know, five guards, four guards out there. But the conference schedule has been very interesting. You know, you have a Colorado team that has played Cal and Stanford four times and the L.A.'s, you know, six of their games. Um, and and, and uh, Washington hasn't played the barrier schools at all. So it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. But I do think confidence does wonders. Um, and you get in a groove and you feel good about yourself. And I think, you know, Washington's taking care of business um, and probably is helped by having had the schedule that they have. I think, um, you know, we probably haven't seen the last of Colorado. You know, I think they're, they're looking to pile up some wins now that maybe they have their tougher part behind them. I, I think UCLA obviously is really good. Um, and then you never know what's going to happen. So we're mostly focused on taking care of the team in front of us. But I think our conference is really strong. And I think it's good when teams step up. Um, and that's good for everybody. And, and we just hope to keep, you know, kind of carrying that banner for, for the teams at the top. Give us a first half assessment of your team. Well, considering how tough the schedule is, um, just really um, happy with where we are. And if you had told me beforehand we'd be 9-1 and one at this this point, I think we'd be pretty happy. And I still think there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, you know, we know that uh, there's a lot of basketball in front of us. We have a lot of great parts. And I think we, we understand that we can win in a lot of ways. But we want to get to the point where we are clicking on all cylinders offensively, defensively, continue to grow and get better. And I love that our players are, are focused on doing that. All right, this week you've got the Arizona schools coming to town. And they're... They've struggled a little bit in league play, uh, but they have some outstanding individual talent as well. And you can't, of course, when you play Arizona State, you can never go to sleep on, on Charlie's teams because as we've seen here at Hospital Pavilion, those games are always pretty good games. You, you said it best. I mean, you look around the country and conference play is a different beast, you know, and matchups matter and who's ready in, night in and night out. And we really talk about that with our team. You know, uh, Wisconsin lost by 44 points to Penn State, came back two weeks later and beat them, and Penn State was seventh or eighth in the country. So we share that kind of thing with them. Um, I, I'm not going to need to get them motivated for Arizona State. I think that team, you know, coached by Charlie, is always prepared. They're always ready. They play great defense. And if you, you know, fall asleep, they're going to get you. Um, so we have to be ready for that. And then Arizona can score with the best of them. They've won the best guards in the conference in Davlin White. You know, we're playing at home. I think our players cherish. We only have four home games left. And so they're going to be, be fired up and ready to go. And as a coaching staff, we have to make sure that we're ready to handle what those two teams are going to present us with. Well, as Coach was talking about, when you play Arizona State, you better possess the basketball. And somebody that's done a great job this year making that transition as far as a point guard and also sometimes a scorer is Brittany Boyd. We had a chance to talk to her recently. Here's her story. Bears look to push up the make. Four court boy, been deep all the way. Laying up and in, Brittany Boyd. Bears attack off the main basket. I would describe myself as a pass first point guard. Um, the look, look to get my teammates involved. And then, you know, if I have the opportunity to score, I will make it happen. But um, energy, I have a lot of energy. Um, 
yeah, I would say creative. You know, I like to do creative things and, you know, oohs and ahs, you know, just excite the crowd. There is no doubt that Boyd has a flair for the dramatic, but a toughness that belies the flash. As a freshman, the Berkeley High School product was second in the Pac-12 in assists and third in steals, and was a second team freshman All-American. But oftentimes she would be her own worst critic, getting down on herself and letting one mistake lead to another. But a little help from the coaches and one of her teammates led to a new attitude as a sophomore. She's grown so much in these last few games, just her poise and like just being steady. Like she's such a playmaker and that's awesome. We love that. And that's something that helps our, the identity of our team because the next thing you know, like you have me on the wing, the next thing you know, you didn't stop ball. Boom, like a layup from Boyd. She wouldn't be the type to just sit there and yell at you or like call you out in front of everybody. She'll pull you to the side and be like, this is what you need to do, calm down. This is what you, like, just let me know. And I always respected her for that and just really responded to her when she would come to me and take the time to talk to me and just, you know, let me know what I needed to do and how to do it. This year, Boyd has blossomed into one of the best point guards in the country, leading the Bears in scoring, assists, steals, and even grabbing four rebounds a game. This year, I feel like I've matured a little bit. And um, my freshman year, I was like so worried about, okay, I need to, I have to make this play. I have to do this. But um, now I'm just letting the game come to me. And if I do make a mistake, I got to get back on defense and move on to the next play because I can't have a four point swing for the other team. And then next, you know, it's a tie game. And she has excelled in the toughest environments. 28 points at Duke, 18 in a close win at Northwestern, and a game-high 19 in the monumental victory at Stanford as the Bears ended the Cardinals' 81-game conference winning streak. Making history during the regular season is great, but Boyd would love to take that one step further. My expectation is um, to be at a Final Four in New Orleans. Um, I believe that we can go that far, and I believe that we will go that far. All right, Brittany has come in. I mean, you can just see the maturation beginning to take place. She's become one of the best point guards in the country, not just in this league. What has been the difference for her this year? I mean, I, I just enjoy so much being part of her growth process as a person, a basketball player. She has unbelievable talent. Um, her strength, her body control, her speed with the ball, those are things she came into Cal with. I think what she's developed is an understanding that she can control the game uh, in several ways. You know, I love it when, um, you know, regardless of the point she's putting up or not, that she's making great reads and decisions. She's getting other people involved. She really dictates our tempo and our pace, and I think she helps to make us, you know, a special basketball team. Um, you know, she watches film. She works on our game. She's growing by the by the moment, and at the same time, you just love that she plays with kind of a, a, a freeness about her um, that sets her apart. So it, it's really fun to coach her. Um, I think, you know, her best days are ahead even, which is almost scary of how good she can be. But right now, she's doing a lot of things, little things that make us better. The last stat line in Oregon was terrific. I think eight assists, zero turnovers. She had big rebound numbers at Oregon State. Um, you know, she's just really buying into the overall team game, which is uh, fantastic and gives us another dimension. Certainly does, a dimension the Bears need and uh, certainly are enjoying, and hopefully you'll enjoy it this week against the Arizona schools. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Good luck this week. And we'll be back next week with head coach Lindsey Gottlieb right here on CalBears.com.